Lesson 12 Divine Wisdom for Life The book of Proverbs is a compilation of inspired counsel, mostly by Solomon, that provides guidance for daily life. Is Jehovah a wise ruler? Well, one decisive way to answer that question is to consider the counsel he gives. Does it work? Does applying it make life better and more meaningful? Wise King Solomon wrote hundreds of proverbs. These touch on virtually every aspect of life. Consider some examples. Trusting in God. Trust is a key to a good relationship with Jehovah. Solomon wrote, Trust in Jehovah with all your heart and do not lean upon your own understanding. In all your ways take notice of him and he himself will make your paths straight. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 Trusting in God by seeking his guidance and obeying him brings profound meaning to life. Such a course enables a human to make God's heart rejoice and gives Jehovah a reply to the issues raised by his adversary Satan. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 11 Dealing wisely with others. God's counsel for husbands, wives and children is more timely today than ever. Rejoice with the wife of your youth, God advises the husband, directing that to remain faithful to his wife. Proverbs chapter 5 verses 18 to 20. Married women find in the book of Proverbs a glowing description of a capable wife who wins the admiration of her husband and children. You'll find more about this in Proverbs chapter 31. And children find direction to obey their parents. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 reads, Observe, O my son, the commandment of your father, and do not forsake the law of your mother. This book also shows that friendships are vital, as isolation leads to selfishness. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 1 reads, One isolating himself will seek his own selfish longing. Against all practical wisdom he will break forth. Friends can influence for good or for bad, so we need to choose them wisely. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 reads, He that is walking with wise persons will become wise but he that is having dealings with the stupid ones will fare badly. Dealing wisely with oneself. The book of Proverbs contains priceless counsel on avoiding alcohol abuse, cultivating helpful emotions and combating destructive ones, and being an industri industrious worker. For example, Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6 reads, Go to the ant, you lazy one. See its ways and become wise. Chapter 14 verse 30 reads, A calm heart is for life of a fleshly organism, but jealousy is rottenness to the bones. It warns that trusting a human judgment apart from the counsel of God leads to disaster. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 reads, There exists a way that is upright before a man, but the ways of death are the end of it afterward. It urges us to protect the inner self, the heart, against corrupting influences, reminding us that out of the heart are the sources of life. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 Millions of people the world over have found that living by such counsel makes for a better life. As a result, they have ample reason to accept Jehovah as their ruler. Ecclesiastes. Where can satisfaction and meaning in life be found? Solomon was in a unique position to seek the answer. With immense wealth, wisdom and authority, he was able to investigate whether these things could bring him genuine fulfilment. He pursued the pleasures of material things, married many beautiful women 
and enjoyed the best in recreation. He undertook great building projects. He explored the wisdom of learned writings. What did he find? Everything is vanity. However, he came to this profound realization. The conclusion of the matter, everything having been heard, is Fear the true God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole obligation of man. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 8 and 13. If you would like a free home Bible study at a time and place to suit you, please log on to jw.org and follow the links online. Thank you for listening.